Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and to my very first video. I'm so excited to take you guys along on this journey with me and I really believe that God is doing amazing things in this season of my life and um, one day I'm going to be able to look back on it and see things that I didn't see before. And so I thought I would just go on ahead, step out of my comfort zone and get started in documenting my journey with you guys. A little bit about me is I am 19 years old and I'm studying to become a teacher. I would love to teach either first through third grade. That is where my heart is. I love the littles. And I was supposed to be a junior at George Fox University this semester, but God had other plans in store for me. On July 5th, I was diagnosed with SLE, which stands for Systemic Lupus Erythemosis, also known as lupus. And it is an autoimmune disease where my my body attacks healthy tissues and this causes inflammation in my joints so my ankles and um, my wrists and just my body will just become swollen ran at random times um, there's really no telling like when my flare-ups occur and I also have rashes on my face and a common symptom is fatigue up until this point in my life, I've always been pretty healthy and I've never really had any issues with my health or anything like that. And I've been used to a really fast pace of a really fast pace of life. Like I would be fine when I go in for a nine hour shift and then hang out with friends afterwards and then um, do the same thing over the next day. Um, but this summer has been very different where I would just be working part time and then I couldn't even have the energy to do anything when I got home. And so just um, adjusting to the different normals is something that I'm navigating and working through right now. In Proverbs 19 verse 21, it says, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And um, that verse just hits hard, especially in this situation. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I was supposed to um, start my junior year of college at George Fox University and also be an RA and step into this leadership position. On August 16th, I went ahead and I jumped into RA training. So RA training was a week and then the freshmen would come in on that Friday. And just knowing with how my body is adjusting to all these new medications and how I was still having flare ups and just navigating through the newness of this diagnosis, I decided to um, pack my bags in faith knowing that God would provide in this situation. It has only been a little under two months since I've received this new diagnosis and in that short amount of time, um, the doctors have prescribed me lots of new medications um, which affect just my mental state and also my physical state. So right now I'm on hydroxychloroquine, also known as Plaquenil, Pregnizone, Aleve, and Celsept. And all of those medicines have their own side effects within itself. And so it's just a lot to um, get used to and navigate while I was trying to be a full-time student and an RA and navigating through this new diagnosis. I truly believe that God doesn't give you anything more than what he knows you can handle. And I just know that um, that whole situation that I went through with um, the RA training and then the first couple days of school, I just know that that was my limit and that I needed to take that step of faith and take a step back and understand that my body is asking for rest during the season. And um, that just brings me to the scripture in Romans 8:28 that says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are and are called according to his purpose. In Psalms 46:10, it says, surrender your anxiety, be silent and stop your striving and you will see that I'm God. And I have just been um, able to meditate on these scriptures and God's promises and holding the truth that God has the authority and power to take away my sickness. Like he's capable of 
far more than we can ever comprehend or imagine but even if he doesn't and even though he hasn't he is still good and he's still orchestrating it for good and um i just want to just praise him in this season despite how my cert my specific situation may be looking and knowing that he is going to work it for good this season of my life is definitely looking way different than I had anticipated it to being, but I'm learning um, during this time to surrender my passions and my dreams and knowing that it is all in the hands of God and that nothing that I am experiencing right now is coming at a curveball or shocking to him and no fear of ours can ever have him look in the other direction and I just think that is amazing and the God we serve is so powerful and um, it just helps me lean onto him in times like this. As I take this semester off of my junior year of college, it is really easy to feel like left behind or um, fall into the cycle of the lies of the enemy. But in Galatians 5.17, it says the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with one another, so you are not to do whatever you want. And this verse, it just stands out to me because um, I have thoughts of negativity like, oh, you're left behind, that wasn't the right decision, um, you aren't capable of it, but the Spirit says that God has me right where He has me in this moment and that I can't even mess up the plan that God has for my life. And I just want to constantly take my thoughts captive to God um, daily. It is a daily thing that we are able to do that with God and that is just such a blessing and that He is always present. And as I take the semester off of school, I know that um, God is working in ways I don't understand right now. I'm excited for what God is going to do next in this time of my life and how he's going to continue to open doors of opportunity. And yeah, I just wanted to document it and like I said, be able to look back on it one day and see how God was working in ways that I currently don't see. And also to just be a resource too for those who do have lupus. I was able to have a really short phone call with one of my friend's youth pastor's wife and she also has lupus and just that um, moments of conversation and being able to relate with one another and our pain, it really just inspired me to want to also be a resource for someone that might be going through a similar situation and that um, God you, God comforts us and so we are able to comfort others as well and yeah so that was just what was on my mind and um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.